Good morning, everyone. Today we have such a wonderful pump, Hitachi HPV Mosetin. It is on the excavator Hitachi 205G. What's the reason? These are the oil seals. Glands on the pump. It's always leaking, boosting the oil seals. There's a reason for that. That is after the customer has changed these oil seals himself, I think two times already, and it is enough for some time. And then he came to us. I say it is necessary to dismantle the pump. Why? Because most likely the drive bearing has fallen apart. One of them. Anyway, now we're going to open this pump and look at it. So we'll open the cover. Let's see. The scoring is already present right here on the cover. But not so critical. I'll check with the customer how the car behaves. And then we'll make a decision uh, together. Well, if anything, it's just a revision. Let's see. We'll, then we'll open it up completely. Defect it. See how everything's doing around here. All right, on the jocks. Well, of course, if there are scuffs on the cover, they will also be present on the camshafts. And, and let's see, the fit with the rotor. Actually, what's going on here? Well, I don't see anything critical yet. Hey, let's check the pistons. I see some shavings over here. There's some shavings. Anyway, yeah, the feet are kind of weird. The castings are sharp. Uh, this pump has never been disassembled. It's an original pump. Uh, maybe some Japanese guy got a little careless. Uh, I'm a little hungover. We'll fix it later. There, is that your senior? Well, you just had to say something. Oh, let's keep going. Let's pull it out. Okay, we got the rocking knots out. Yeah. Well, here they are. I haven't done any defects here yet. I've just put them aside. And here we have the main shafts. Now, if you look at this shaft, this one spins easily, and this one, this, you might say, spins very hard. That's the difference. I can move it with my finger. A side movement. Uh, but this one can't be done with one finger. You have to use a lot of force. So I was a little bit proved wrong. I said that side, or maybe that side too, but it, this side rotated very easily. Uh, that's the reason why the oil seal keeps leaking. <laughs> um, here's the bearing cage. What happened to it? And here are the bearings themselves. Here we go. Washing the housing completely. The pump housing was washed. Clean. Now here's the next thing. We look at the bearing seat. Sometimes they're attacked. It's all right here. And the side is also in good order. Uh, and now all that's left to do is to preserve the whole thing. So I'm going to put oil on it so it doesn't rust. All the channels have been blown out. Clean. Because these bearings are not available. Now New Year's holidays with delivery and so on. This may take a while, so canned and wrapped in string tape and and put away in a shelf until better times. I can make a video of the assembly if interest. Or... That's why if you have this problem on your Hitachi Pachama, it happens all the time. If the oil seal leaks, you get a full level dipstick from the gearbox all the time. Uh, you know, that's a leaky oil seal. And that oil seal is probably there for a reason. Moon. If it's an original, I mean, if it's a good oil seal, then they're practically eternal, you could say. <laughs> well, of course, yes, uh, it can get blistered and so on, but, um, it, but it is unlikely. And therefore, always, if, if you remove the pump, they are very easy to change from that side. So, um, you just have to remove the, the gearbox. Don't always look carefully and, in general, shake the blockage there so that, so that there is no run out. <laughs> And just noticed it all in time. And stop it. <laughs> yeah, food. Here are the rockers themselves. In principle, pistons and so on. Like it, it, it can look to everything in the system. Even if, if I can't show it all now with, with one hand and a camera. But uh, you see, there's vacuum. Yes, it lifts. But it is not so checked. I'm just showing you an example. Adjacent to the rotor. Well, 
There is, of course, there is, but it is not critical. You can still put them on. They will work for two more years. I just tell the customer, quietly, save up, save up money for all this equipment. Here, you see there is, of course, a scrape, but barely with a fingernail, but this is where something must have flown in. This is the part where it's, it's wrinkled, you see. So here, the customer's word, as they say, is law. <laughs> I'll send it to him, and he'll tell me himself. Well, I say again, I repeat, I'm still in favor of leaving it all, so as not to spend a lot of extra money. So let's gather the bearings for now and make money for ourselves, for the rocking unit. Happy upcoming holidays to everyone. Do not get sick. Be healthy. Be happy. Bye-bye, everyone.